If you're looking for an online tool to jot down ideas, create to-do lists, grocery lists, capture school notes, organize your business projects, or maybe even plan a vacation, Evernote is it. Here's a bird's eye view of how Evernote works. First, you start with a notebook. To that notebook, you can add notes. And a note can be almost anything. It can be plain text, it can be an image, a voice memo, even a handwritten note. It can be a screenshot from the web or your phone and a lot more. You can have lots of notebooks and lots of notes within each notebook. And Evernote gives you so, so many ways to keep your stuff organized as you start to grow your Evernote library. One of those ways is that you can make all your notebooks into notebook stacks. So you can have a stack of notebooks for your school, for personal stuff, business stuff. And even as you start to have a lot of notes and notebooks, you never have to worry about losing or misplacing any information because Evernote lets you use tags so that you can identify each note and notebook. And then there's also a very useful search bar. You can type in a few keywords and pull up any note or notebook you're looking for. So if you're intrigued and you're ready to become an Evernote productivity master, keep watching because I'm going to be sharing a complete tutorial and I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use Evernote so that you can start setting up your notes and notebooks. And then I'll show you the behind the scenes of my Evernote and how it's set up so you can gain some more inspiration on how to set yours up as well. Once you create an Evernote account, there are many ways to access it. One of them is an app on your phone which looks like this you can also download the app on your computer and I'm just going to sign in real quick to show you what Evernote looks like through this app so this is what the Evernote app will look like on your computer and the last way to access Evernote is by your web browser on your computer and this is actually my favorite way next to the actual app on my phone this is the way that I use it the most I just like this interface a lot better than the app on the PC that's where this tutorial will be taking place but you can follow along with this tutorial no matter what you choose to go with the functions will be very similar. Let's start with this profile icon here. This is where you'll find general settings. Down here, you can sign out if you'd like. You can switch to the previous version of Evernote. This way you're looking at here is the newer version. I think it's still in beta. They're still tweaking a few things. Let me show you what the previous version of Evernote Web used to look like. It looks a bit different, but not too much. In my opinion, I still like this old version a lot better, but I'm getting used to using the newer version because I know it's a, just a matter of time before Evernote makes us use the newer version. Once they're done tweaking it and it's out of beta, they're going to make us use that. So I'm just trying to get used to it, and that's why I'm just doing the tutorial there. So to switch back, I'm clicking on this profile icon and clicking switch back to new Evernote. You can also find help. You can go to things to switch up things. You can look at your account summary, change up personal settings like your username. You can disconnect devices that you have Evernote downloaded on like other phones or other computers. You can add a profile picture, reminders. You can switch to premium if you'd like. I'm still using the free version. I've been using that for years and years. I've never seen the need to switch to premium. Here's the things that are within each plan. For the premium, if you do it yearly, it'll be $583 a month, which is still not bad. And here you can see the differences. So just take a look at that and decide what's good for you. Other things in these profile settings are security applications. You can connect Evernote with other applications like with Trello and Gmail and other things like that. So here is where you will manage all of those things as well. All right, moving along, I'm going to start my way from the bottom and work my way up just because I find that that will be easier as I show you how to build your notebooks and then your notes and all these different things. So down here is where you can collapse the menu just to give you more space so you can see your notes and notebooks better. And then if you want to expand it, click again. Upgrade, we talked about if you want to move on up to the premium, that's where you will go. Trash, anytime you delete a notebook or a note, it will automatically be added to this trash folder and it will stay there until you actually go in and delete it from the trash. 
I think this is useful because sometimes you accidentally delete things you didn't mean to. Tags, these are like keywords that you add to your notes and notebooks. So if you have notes that are related to each other but they're in different notebooks, you can add the same tag to it, search for that tag, and they will both be pulled up together. This button here is where you will go if someone shares something with you. If they share an uh, image or any documents, that's where this will go. Notebooks, here's where the fun starts to happen, where you start building your Evernote. Right now, I have this business notebook that I created earlier. And then to add a notebook, all you have to do is click this green plus button here. Then you can name your notebook and click continue and here you will start seeing your notebook list you can see who created it the last time you updated to access the settings to each notebook just click on these three dots as actions and here you can do many things you can share this notebook with someone else you can rename the notebook here you can add it to shortcuts so if you find yourself using a notebook over and over again go ahead and add it to shortcuts so that you can just click the start button. Remember we talked about how you can put your notebooks into a stack. This is where you'd go to do that as well. Another way to access your notebooks is by pressing this arrow here and then you'll see all your notebooks here. On to notes, I don't have any notes yet here in this Evernote. This is just an Evernote I created to show you how it works, but I'll show you mine in just a moment. Here's where you would find all your notes. To create a note, you can click here and once you start, having lots of notes you can sort your notes by date created date updated or in alphabetical order from least to greatest or greatest to least this is view options here in this new Evernote they don't have any view options just yet they're working on some but this just means how you view your notes you can view them as thumbnails as just a short description and different things eventually they'll get around to that here you can filter by tag as well which I don't have any right now but you can add as many or as little notes as you want so let me start adding some here And to expand your note, just so you can see the full view of it, like these arrows on this top left corner here. If you click this green button here, it'll show up a shareable link that you can copy and paste anywhere and share it with anybody. You just have to enable this and then anyone who has this link can view this particular note. But I'm going to disable it for now. If you click these three dots here you have a lot of options you can move this note to a different notebook by just clicking here you can again share the note you can make a duplicate of this note you can delete it you can add it to shortcuts so that you can access it easily through that star button when you use it a lot this is super helpful another thing you can do is print the note change the note width, and view information that um, pertains to this note like when it was created and things like that another nifty thing you can do here is copy internal link so I'm going to go ahead and click that now I have this link that I can paste anywhere in another note that will make it easy to jump back to this note with the click of a button I'm in ads note right now I'm going to head to a different notebook and show you how it works now I'm in the sales note and I'm going to go ahead and paste that internal link we copied to the clipboard and it automatically gives me a link to that other note. And now I can just click this link and easily jump back to it. And this just makes it easy to juggle back and forth between different notes. When you see my Evernote setup, you'll see why this is super useful. To start act adding the actual content to your note, you can choose a template. I love that they have this option automatically here. They didn't used to do this before you'd have to go to a whole separate website to get a template, but here you can do it easily. And they have all these sorts of templates that you can make use of. There's some for budgeting, some for planning, and a lot of other things. So I'm going to choose this planner one to show you how it works. It just pastes it right into your note and you can start planning your week and things like that. You can also just drag files right into this note. And then of course you can just type anything you want. 
And as you can see in this top bar here, Evernote works like most other word processing systems. You can change the font, the size of the font, the color, you can bold, italicize, highlight stuff, you can add bullet checklists, numbered lists, and you can add checkboxes with these two options here. You can also add links. So if I wanted to add a link to this portion of this text, I would just highlight it and then just paste my link here. Click apply. And now anytime I click here, it'll just take me directly to that link. You can also adjust your text, whether you want it left, centered, or right aligned. You can indent your text. And this blue plus here is where you can add even more things to your note to make it even more organized and do what you have to do. One thing you can do is add tables that look like this. You can add lines that will divide your text as you grow your note. You can also add attachments like PDFs and other files and photos. So yeah, as you can see, there are so many things that you can use here on Evernote to customize your note to have it look just like you needed and to have it do whatever you need it to do. When you're all done you can just collapse this note here and it'll automatically save. Now let's continue our way up this side panel here. Shortcuts we've been talking about this is where you will find any notes that you star and add to shortcuts so that you can access them easily. And then here's where you add your notes, as we said, and search is something I use very often. I don't use tags that much, but search is something I use all the time. And here you can just add a few keywords that describe what you're looking for and it'll automatically pull up any note or notebook that has those words in it. So if I added the word tutorial here, it will pull up that note that I was working on because it has the word tutorial here. And that is just very useful so that you can find all the information you need so fast. And that's it. That's the essence of how Evernote works and how to use it. Very, very simple. Once you start getting the hang of it, you can start using it to organize your life. So now I'm going to head over to my actual Evernote and show you how mine is set up to give you some more tips and tricks and ideas on how to use it. So this is what my Evernote looks like. These are all my notebooks. And if you click this arrow here, you can see what notes are contained within each notebook. These three stacked bars here mean that this is a stack of notebooks like we talked about earlier. And to create a stack, all you have to do is click the three buttons on the side, click add to stack, and you can add it to a stack you've already created or create a new stack of notebooks. So that's how I created these here. Now I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom showing you everything that's contained within my Evernote and giving you some tips along the way. So here in my to be filed notebook, this is like my junk drawer. Anything that I'm typing up real quick, anything that I share from the web to my Evernote, everything goes here and I added these two notes here purposely so I can show you how it works I try to clean my Evernote at least once a week so that's when I will come here in this to be filed notebook and file all the notes that are here and put them in its appropriate place so this email is something I wrote for my email list and I added it here but it really belongs in email so all I have to do is click these three buttons up here click move to and move it to emails. Next this red pepper hummus recipe. It belongs in the recipes notebook so we'll go ahead and click these three dots again. Click move to and recipes. Then I have an affiliates and payment info notebook. I am associated with many different affiliate programs. So here's where I keep the codes and the dashboards to check sales and other important information. I haven't written many Amazon ads lately, but I like to keep these notes here for when I do decide to write another ad, I can refer back to this. Here's where I keep all the ads that are currently running. Here's where I keep copy of the ads that I've written. And then I also have this checklist, which is basically a series of steps from start to finish that it'll take to write an ad. And then we have headlines. And then after that, we have this blogs notebook. And here I keep admin information, cool tools I like to use in the future, royalty-free pics and videos, 
taglines and website design information. As I'm looking through all these different websites throughout my day, anything that catches my eye that I like, I save it here. So when I'm redoing my website, I can always come back here for some inspiration. When I read, I like to take a lot of notes, but it can get very messy to write down notes on different pieces of paper and having them everywhere in different notebooks. So I like to write them here instead just to keep it very organized. Then we have business ideas and projects. And here I just keep general business ideas I have. I was working on a course, so that's where this information is. And then we have Kindle. This Kindle stack is just all the things I need to publish a book. And I use KDP, which I should rename this. So I'm going to rename this stack to KDP for Kindle Direct Publishing because that's what I use to publish my books. And here I just have a couple of notebooks, a notebook for my new book I'm writing, which I've been writing for over a year now. And I have different marketing and resources that help me when I'm writing my book. And just like the Amazon ads, I have a checklist for Kindle. I have a checklist for pretty much anything. Let me show you what this looks like. This is just a series of steps that it will take me from start to finish to publish a book on KDP and as you can see under some steps I have linked resources that I can jump to maybe I found them useful last time I wrote a book so I have them here so that it's easy to find and this just makes it so useful to have everything I need to write and publish a book in one place then I also have this personal stack and here I just have my goals for the past five years Holiday checklist, that's something I recently started, just different things I want to remember for holidays on what I need to get, what I need to take with me, and things like that. Motivation stash, that's something I've talked about on my YouTube channel many times. Anytime you're feeling down, anytime you're having some self-doubt, you can come back here and look at different things that motivated you in the past. So for me here, I have book reviews. I have honorable mentions where people have mentioned my name and I have YouTube comments. Some YouTube comments are really touching and help keep me motivated and going so that's where I put this. Weekly check-in is something that I've talked about before as well. I like to check in at least once a week, make note of my stats, my sales, my analytics ways I can improve for next week. I'll leave a video linked in the description that talks more about a weekly check-in. Here I have published content, anything I've ever sent out in an email, um, anything I've published on Reddit or social captions. I like to keep these things here because sometimes I can reuse content. This is where I write down the recipes that I've done in the past and recipe ideas I want to do in the future resources and learning, things I'm learning about, social media, here's where I keep hashtags and other resources, quotes I like to publish on Instagram or anywhere else, and unused content. Then my YouTube notebook is where I keep my description because most of the time only the top portion changes, the rest stays the same, so I keep that here. Any b-roll I'm using, anything I need to order from from Fiverr for my YouTube, ideas and resources, and again with the checklist. Here I have a checklist of what it'll take to publish a video from start to finish. And then I also have my video links. So this here is where I keep all the links to my videos because sometimes I refer back to old videos and new videos I'm creating. So it's just easy to come here and copy the link of a video and add it to a description or anywhere else. And remember I told you about the internal link situation where you click here and you can click copy internal link. This is one way I use it. So if I click here, I can go to my description and from here I can go back to the video link. So I can just toggle back and forth between these two notes as I'm creating my description. This makes it easy to just come back here and copy my links. So this is my current setup, but I didn't start here. My Evernote was pretty messy at first, so give yourself some time. With this tutorial and some time to experiment, you'll slowly start to figure out new ways to use Evernote to organize your life and how to best set up your notes and notebooks. For more tutorials, check out this playlist right here. To watch my previous video, click here. And most importantly, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and show me some love in the comments below. That'll help spread this video to more people. And that's all for today. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.